Welcome to the second part of the creating the data dimension chapter. Previously, we created the transformation which accepts the start and end date as input parameters and creates as many rows as there are days between these two dates. Now, we want to derive all the basic date attributes like year, quarter, month, week and so forth. We will use the calculator step therefore. Add the calculator step to the very end and connect it to the stream. Double click on it and the first thing we have to do is to create the proper date for each row. So create the new field called the underscore date and for the calculation search for date and then we want date A plus B days. For field A specify start date, for field B specify clone number. Set the value type to date and then we also want to specify the mask which is this one here. So let's click OK, save and then do a preview on this step to see if everything is working properly. And as you see here, our date is properly incremented every day. So everything is working as we expected. Click close. Next we want to specify the various date attributes. So let's create a new field called the underscore year. For calculation search for year to slim down a bit the list of possible calculations. Then choose year of date A and set field A to the date. The value type should be integer. Next up create a field called the underscore quarter. Search for quarter. And then choose quarter of date A, should be based on the year, and the value type is integer. Next, field the underscore month, search again for month, and then the calculation should be month of date A, and field A is the date. Value type again, integer. Finally, the week, search for week here. So we want week of year of date A. Field A set to the date and the value type again integer. Next up, some day attributes. So first one being day of year. Search for year and then we choose day of year of date A. Set field A to the date and value type integer. So it's a bit of work, but it's not really anything too challenging. Next, day of month. Search for month. So we want day of month of date A based on the date and value type integer again. Finally, day of week. Search for week. Day of week of date A is our calculation type. And then that should be based again on the date and it's an integer. So we have derived now in an easy fashion all the possible date attributes. Just click on OK save this and we want to check if this is working so right click on the calculator step and let's do a preview on it okay let's see so we have for example the 1st of january 2013 so it's the first quarter first month first week and so forth looking good so let's scroll down a bit to make sure everything is uh, changing respectively it's all looking very good. So we are happy with the result and now we can click close and we have accomplished the main task of this uh, session, namely deriving all the required date attributes. So to sum up, the calculator step offers a very easy way to derive all kinds of date attributes. So far, that's it for now. I shall see you in a bit when we finish this transformation.